what a finish. 91 to 89, the final score as the Cavs continue this tear behind a very balanced offensive effort. Coach, what did you see in those final moments? I saw a young team growing up they executed well. The defense, the thing that was amazed me at the end of the game, 3D, mm -hmm. you call a timeout if you're Boston, and you can't get the ball, Jason Tatum. That's the thing. No, it's not a problem that Dennis Schroeder, if Jason Tatum gets the ball and he passes it, mm -hmm. that's one thing. But this is the best player on your team, just one of the best players in the league, especially one-on-one. -on -one. And he's yeah. proven over the years for all the talk, mm -hmm. he can make tough shots. And so I'm just shocked that with eight seconds to go, Tatum didn't get the ball. The play was not. They're trying to throw it directly into him, but Cleveland, Ricky Rubio is not stupid. He dropped in Tatum Lake. He took that away. And to me, uh, 3D is just a poorly designed play because you did not get the ball into your best player hand and your best one-on-one -on -one player hand. So I know Dennis has been playing well, right, but right, at the end of the right. day, no, I'm going yeah. to put the ball in Jason Tatum's hand. And Jason Tatum, uh, to, uh, to uh, Sam's point, Kristen, I think should probably go after the ball too. One shooter yep. caught the ball at the top. Why not pop out and run to time and say, give me the ball. Man, just clear, go get it. Go get it. Clear out. Now if someone double teams you, we know you're willing to pass the ball and be unselfish. What so. is it that you see going on with these Celtics? Because it's been a bit inconsistent to start the season. Well, I, I think a lot of people pointed out, you know, Marcus Smart, you know, calling out, you know, uh, the two stars, so to speak. Which of seemed weeks ago. by all accounts to right? work, right? And the defense stepped up more than the offense. So that was kind of weird. I think they called each other out. But then tonight, you're coming down the stretch. you got to get the ball in your best player's hand so he can make the right decision. And you're right on point, Sam. Dennis Schroeder has been playing very well. 38 the other night. I think 20-something here mm -hmm. tonight. But 28. 28. So let Jason have the ball. Let him be the magnet to get all that attention. Now kick it to you for a wide-open shot. Now two people on you. The only thing concerns me about what Marcus Smart did publicly, I wish he would have did it behind prior, closed door for this mm -hmm. reason. Mm -hmm. By making it public, you've implanted in Tatum and Brown head. It's public now. Every time they step on the floor, people watch it. Every time they shoot the ball, could they have passed it? Should they have passed it? Right? And so you don't want your best players, especially guys that got to carry you offensively, yeah, you want to check them a little bit. They, they were going a little crazy taking bad shots and too many shots. But you don't want them guys out there playing hesitant. Right. Because what you saw tonight, Jason Tatum, right, because he's thinking now. He's just not playing. And so even though it worked, it may have had a negative effect on Tatum because now he's wondering, am I being selfish? Should I have passed? And if you if that's going through your mind, 3D, yeah, it's hard you to can't play, play that way.